Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Token Reviews. Today we're going to be doing the Nerf Witch to Get uh, Rebel Series Guns. We're going to have actually a winner and a, uh, or two winners. We'll have a, a, a handgun and a rifle of some sort. Or uh, I guess a bow would be considered as a rifle. Uh, so let's uh, just do a short review on each one, just a pro and con about, uh, about them and we can move on. Okay, first of all, we have the Heartbreaker here, Heartbreaker bow here. Uh, I'd say the big pro about this is it has this ammo attachment here. I might, if this gun was really cheap, I would buy this gun just for the ammo attachment because it's really useful. Uh, this gun it does have the fake action on it, so it's kind of a cons for that. And it, uh, sometimes you don't really know how far you're pulling this back. Uh, and it doesn't seem to be that effective in a battle for sure. Um, the next we have the Sweet Revenge here. Uh, this comes with a holster and a goggles if you have it in the kit. Uh, that's a big pro to it. Uh, it does have uh, some really fast firing and you can do it with one hand because it has the hammer on it, which is really nice. Uh, for the cons of this gun though, uh, the gun sometimes will slip out of the holster. If you, uh, I don't know, if you run around it will just slip out, just kind of annoying because it's it only is being held in by the uh, the indent of the railing there, so it's not much to keep it in. Uh, next we have the Guardian Crossbow here. The pro and cons of this is this gun has uh, some decent range, or actually I, I meant to say accuracy, it has some good accuracy but the range isn't that good. Uh, but it does have the shotgun pump though which is a really nice, I mean any gun that has a shotgun pump is normally pretty effective in battle. Uh, the cons for this is that you sometimes can't shoot fast because uh, well, there's not really um, slam fire in it or anything, so if you try and shoot fast and you have like the trigger pull too quickly, sometimes it just it screws up when you're priming it. Happened a few times to me, so it's a little bit annoying. Uh, the next we have the power pair here. Uh, these are <laughs> these are kind of cheesy just because they're they're like basically a jolt. Uh, they hold two darts in the back here, which is definitely a pro for it. They're also really small, so you can fit them in your pocket or something. Uh, the cons of these, though, is that they're, I mean, they're not really effective in a game just because, I mean, you have to put one dart in and, you know, you can shoot it from there. It's kind of slow. It's not, it wouldn't be effective in a game just because it, it, it's too slow to use, I guess. Next, we have the uh, Pink Crush here. This gun reminds me very much of, like, the Fire Strike, the EX-3. It uh, doesn't have any dart holders on it except for this front attachment. You can put squeeze darts in here. Uh, uh, so the pros of this gun, though, is that its range is pretty good, its accuracy is pretty good. Uh, but the cons, this front piece is kind of pointless, and the darts that you fit inside of it will get smashed. Uh, it's not really worth to put your darts inside of it, or otherwise you might just screw up your darts. Uh, also, or next, we have the uh, Rapid Red, this one here. Uh, the pros and cons for this one, first of all, pros. Uh, it's a uh, full auto because it is a revving gun, and it's also quite, it's very quiet, which is pretty nice compared to most of the revving guns, normally they're really loud. Uh, another pro is that it's really small, so you can, you know, you can one-hand it if you had two of them or something, which is nice. Um, so the cons of this gun, though, is that it doesn't have the best accuracy because it's a, it's a revving gun. Uh, the accuracy is not that good. Uh, for the next gun, we have the Spy Light, uh, this one. Uh, this one's pros is that it has some decent range, however, accuracy is not that good. That's a con for this gun, the accuracy is not that good. Um, and the light that comes with here, uh, I guess the pro you could say is that it has an extra railing on it on the top, but uh, the big con about this light is that it's really weak and it's not that effective. Uh, I saw that it was mostly used for just reading the darts, which is kind of cheesy, so uh, it's not that effective, it's just light here. So next we have the Agent Bow here. Uh, this gun, was, the pros about it is that it's just fun to use and it's really cool to use in battle because it's realistic action. Uh, none of the Nerf guns are actually don't actually have this realistic action where you have to um, you have to you know put the arrow in and it actually fires from the string here, which is pretty cool. Uh, the cons for this gun is that um, well. It comes with only three of these darts, or these arrows, and which is not too good because they can break very easily. They seem pretty flimsy, so I mean you can easily lose them or break them. You'd only have you know, one or two shots left after you break them. Uh, next we have the uh, Rapid Glow. This one here. This one reminds me very much of like Retaliator or Recon, except the stock is already attached. Um, what's nice about this is it has a long mag, so you can have ten rounds in it, which is 
pretty nice. Also, the range is really good, so you can uh, get some farther ranges. However, the cons of this gun, the accuracy is not the best uh, for sure. And also, uh, the glow mag here, uh, it doesn't seem to be that effective, and it doesn't light up the darts that well, so you can't actually see the darts glow as you shoot them. Um, next, we have the Messenger. Uh, this one, it does come with a pen, so it's the only gun that you can actually write on the Rebel Dart, so you can read them with the reader, which I think almost all the guns come with one of these readers. Uh, most of these do. I don't think the bows do, maybe. I'm not really sure, though. Um, but this is the only one that comes with the pen, so you can write on your darts, which is pretty cool. It's a nice pro about this. Another pro is that it's, like, versus other pistols, like this one, and, uh, this guy here, it has three rounds in the front, so you can just prime it, shoot it, prime it, shoot it, and prime it, shoot it again, which is pretty nice. Um, and you don't have to reload it in the middle of battle as often. Um, and cons for this gun is that it, uh, I didn't really have much for this. The handle is not that comfortable, uh, for sure, because it has this uh, texture on it, and it's not that comfortable to use. However, another con is that the darts sometimes will go up when you shoot. They'll go up like a foot, which is a little bit weird, I noticed. Um, so I don't, I don't know why it does that, but you have to aim like straight instead of normally you'd aim up a little bit. So uh, next we have the Diamondista here. Uh, this gun is actually pretty cool. It's another real action type of gun, so it's like a crossbow thing where you actually pull this back, and this will actually shoot the dart. I don't have the darts here to shoot it with, but um, it's very effective actually as maybe a sniper or something because. Uh, it has some really decent range, and it's actually very quiet when you shoot it. Uh, so those are the pros. The cons of this, though, however, it takes a really long to reload, or it doesn't take really long to reload. It just takes a little bit of time to reload to pull the string back, then put a dart in. Uh, also, sometimes when you uh, uh, put the dart in, the the uh, string here will put push forward, and the dart will launch out, which is kind of annoying. All right, so now we'll move on to the star shot here. Uh, the cons or the pros for this gun is that it, it comes with these nice uh, target set here, so you can have your own target, and it's actually the only rebel gun so far that has the sticky darts. You can uh, hit the target and it'll stick on there, which is pretty cool. Uh, for the cons of this gun, though, uh, the range is not that good, so it wouldn't be effective in battle. Also, the uh, the dart holders in the front here, uh, they smash the darts just like some of these other guns have these front pieces where it smashes the darts. So uh, that's not that effective. Uh, so the next we have the power bell. Uh, this one, uh, first of all, its pros is that it's full out, which is nice. It holds 10 ammo, which is also nice. Uh, the range is pretty good, and it comes with this uh, sling adapter and the uh, pouch here, which is pretty cool. So for the cons of this gun, this gun does not have the greatest accuracy that the darts kind of don't go where you want them to go, they shoot way off the side. Uh, also, it takes about a second or two for the uh, gun to shoot. I mean, it has to rev up and then it, or it has to pull the, uh, the pull the plunger back and then shoot it. So it takes a little bit of while to shoot it, uh, which is kind of not that good. All right, so now I'm just gonna round out these guns. Uh, first, I'm gonna say that there are pistols and rifles, so I'm gonna have uh, one handgun, not a pistol, and one rifle as a winner. Uh, including these would be uh, this and this would both be considered a rifle. Um, uh, I'm just gonna narrow out a bunch of them. First of all, just make it really quick. Uh, this gun here, I don't think it's that effective in game just because it's a bow and it's not that effective. First of all, when you let go of this, your hand shakes a little bit. It's not gonna be that accurate. The only good thing about this bow is that it comes with this dart attachment. I'll just put this down. Here. Uh, next, these. I would say aren't effective. They're definitely not gonna be a winner here just because they're you know they're small, they don't really work as well. So these are pretty easy to round out. Uh, also the Diamondista here, this one is actually pretty slow uh, compared to some of the pistols. Uh, like this one has three shots, this one has six shots to shoot. It's just one you have to load it and prime it, or prime it, then load it, and it just doesn't work that well. All right, so now the star shot is not that effective either because, uh, well, first of all, the laser is really weak and uh, its uh, its range is not that good. It's really just meant for target practice. Uh, next, uh, I'd say the uh, this one here, ooh, I forgot the name. Uh, this one is called the Pink Crush. Um, it's not that effective because you have to load it and shoot it again. It's You can't, you know, I think that it's, its range is really good, but it's uh, not as effective as this pistol here. So move down to this one. Now we've got just these three pistols left, the Spylight, the uh, Messenger, and the, um, 
the, uh, the Sweet Revenge here. Uh, we've got the Crossbow, Rapid Red, Rapid Glow, the Bow, and the Power Bell. Uh, I will put out the Guardian Crossbow because it's, um, uh, well, it's it doesn't seem to be that effective at range. Uh, the accuracy is pretty good, but the range is not that the best. Uh, and like I was saying, there are some issues with the priming. If you're trying to shoot too fast, it you know it, it screws up. So now this, I would I think this is really cool. Uh, the rest of these guns is is really difficult actually to round out just because they're all pretty good. Um, However, I still need to round it out to two. Uh, this is not that effective because it's it's a bow and it's you have to load each shot. It takes a while to load. However, it's really fun to use. I would recommend this just for the fun of it. Maybe if someone else had one, you could play uh, versus each other with these. But it's not going to be that effective in battle. Uh, the power bell. And round this one out as well. The uh, it doesn't shoot that fast. The accuracy is not that good and. It, it takes a few seconds for it to start shooting, which is pretty bad. So, uh, however, I really like the sling that it comes with and the pouch. So overall, these five guns are definitely my favorite out of the Rebel series so far. Uh, I would recommend if you get any of the Rebel guns, these would be the, probably the best. But however, I'm going to still round it down to two and to pick the winners. Uh, the Sweet Revenge here uh, out of the pistols is my definitely my favorite. Uh, it's really nice. It's really effective. It it's, has some good range. Also, you can prime it with one hand and shoot it. So if you had two of them, you could use the two. Uh, also, it's, you can be pretty quick with it. Uh, also, it has a holster, so you can have it on your side at all times as a backup weapon, which is really nice. Uh, that's the biggest part that I like about this gun. Put these to the side here. All right, so last two, these rifles. These were probably the hardest choice from all these re rebel guns for me because I really like the rapid red here. Uh, it seems to be really nice. It has a really long mag uh, and it has semi-automatic, which is pretty cool. And you can hold it with one hand. But however, I'm going to choose uh, the rapid glow here because its range is really nice and it also it, it seems like a recon or retaliator type of thing, and it, it seems to be really effective. Also, it has the glow mag, which is not that it doesn't work that well. However. Uh, it's, it is pretty nice. All right, so these are the two winners of all the Rebel guns. However, I would say that this is like the best setup out of all the Rebel series guns you can have. Uh, you can have this as your own arsenal. Uh, this is your sidearm and this is your primary. It would work really well, actually. I, I would definitely use these two in a battle. Uh, even though they are girly, I'd still use them in a battle. Uh, but anyways, if you think there should be any guns that should have been replaced as the winners or something that should be here instead, um, put it in the comments below. We'd like to see your, uh, what you think should be a winner. Uh, but I'll see you in the finale of the What Should I Get series.